The St. Lucia Social Development Fund has been working closely with the Diaspora Office to help facilitate the donations received from the St. Lucia Diaspora. The latest undertaking of the organizations is the establishment of a thrift shop in St. Lucia with the aim of assisting nationals here at home. The executive director of the SSDF, Alison Mathre, noted that the St. Lucian associations from Canada, the United Kingdom, and the United States have shown absolute commitment towards the initiative. I think the challenge was they wanted to find something that they could unify, come together on, to make a meaningful dent in poverty in St. Lucia. And we were able to present that pre um, to them through a proposal that we set up a thrift shop in St. Lucia that would be funded by the USLOA, if you will, through contributions. And um, at the end of every year, we would have discussions with a steering committee that has been, that comprise members of the SSDF and the USLOA to determine what the funds would go to, the proceeds from that. That was, to me, one of the most amazing um, experiences at the SSDF. And I think it's a watershed because there is no question that there are a number of St. Lucians living overseas that are very committed to helping St. Lucians in St. Lucia. Mathra expressed gratitude to Watch Radio and Family and the St. Lucian Association of St. Croix who have already made donations. St. Croix from the beginning when we attended the biennial convention in the UK, from the beginning they indicated that they were committed to helping and they have sent they have sent us, they sent free barrels. This is not the first time they've sent stuff to, to us. And I'm very happy for Watch Radio. They seem very energized. Also, um, the Canadians have also been very helpful. They've, they, they've done um, a house and, and, and what have you. So there is, there is the will. There is the will from the associations in the US, the UK and Canada. It is for us to match it here. And we are the SSDF, the SSDF staff. Um, we are doing all we can to make this happen. Ambassador for Diaspora Affairs, Her Excellency Dr. Joyce Lynn Clark Fletcher, expressed gratitude on behalf of the government of St. Lucia to the diaspora for all the assistance received, especially in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic. So this is a difficult time. But we are very positive. We are looking ahead. We know that things will get better. We know that all the things we had planned for St. Lucia for the diaspora is on hold. But we are not giving up. We are holding on. We are praying. We are pressing on. And we will keep on receiving. We have next week, or I think it's a week and a half again, we will be receiving um, wheelchairs and things from the Diabetic Association UK, St. Lucia Diabetic Association UK, and so many others of you send it. This is what you can do now because you cannot physically come. And if your holiday is very short, you don't want to come and spend seven days in quarantine and you want to protect those in St. Lucia that you love. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for working with us and the government. Thank you for giving. The handing over ceremony of the donations received from Watch Radio and Family and the St. Lucia Association of St. Croix took place on Tuesday, October 6, 2020. From the Government Information Service, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.